which has a more Japanese sound than the so-called JBL sound. JBL XPL 160 220,000 yen X2 The XPL series achieves linear phase by moving the mid-high range baffle back, and we introduced the low-end 90 earlier, but this time we're looking at the 160, the second from the top. Actual weight, 28.3 kilograms. The two-stage baffle and the trapezoidal cross-section enclosure that tapers toward the rear are common to the series. The finish is veneer real wood, the baffle is a double structure of particle board and BMC molded board, and hard sponge rubber is stretched from the top of the woofer to the top edge of the baffle. The design seems to emphasize delicate expression rather than a powerful sound. I don't think the BMC is solid, but in terms of total thickness, the top is 35 mm thick, the area around the woofer is 45 mm thick, and some parts are 60 mm thick. It is a base reflex with a rear duct, but the duct is an extremely thin PVC pipe, so thin that it has the interesting advantage of being less prone to resonance. The sound absorbing material is glass wool on five sides. The input terminal supports by wiring, and both terminals are connected with copper plates. The woofer has a pulp cone and a die cast frame, weighing 3.3 kilograms. The magnet is 5132X 17 mm. The midrange is a titanium dome. Both the dome and the edge have unique ribs. Die cast frame, weighing 1350G. With a metal back cavity. The tweeter is a titanium dome with the same structure, die cast frame, weighing 1150G. The magnet is 585X 15 mm. The network is large, with 5 coils 2 of which are air core, 12 capacitors 8 of which are film capacitors, and 9 resistors. The wiring cable is monster cable, a thick and soft cable. The impedance characteristics are typical of a 3-way base reflex. The duct is tuned to about 32 Hz. The frequency response is uneven at both 1M and 3M. The overlap near the crossover seems to be thin. Thicker filters are flatter and the sound is fuller and more powerful, but distortion occurs due to mutual interference. The thinner filters were probably made to aim for a delicate sound with less distortion. The sound is delicate, sharp, transparent, and fast, with great resolution. There is some character, but little distortion. The percussion is crisp, and the strings are clean, bright, and sharp, but they don't feel particularly harsh or sharp. It feels like they're being held back just before the sound reaches the limit. The vocals are bright and crisp. The low range is powerful for both the bass and the organ. The sound image is small and clearly defined. The hall echo is also well reproduced, with a wonderful sense of depth, but the spread to the left and right is normal. Overall, it feels more like a Japanese hi-fi sound than the so-called JBL sound. 